this is a cucumber and this is a cross section of cucumber this is a photograph of lungs and this is a cross section of lung under microscope these spaces are alveoli and they are filled with air and that's how they should be so this area of lung is absolutely normal this is a blood vessel this is a blood vessel this is a blood vessel this is pleura uh, we all know that lungs are covered by a double layered membrane the outer membrane is known as parietal pleura and the inner membrane is known as visceral pleura this um, is a sketch of alveoli, functional units of uh, lung. Each lung is made up of millions of alveoli. This is a branch of pulmonary artery that brings uh, deoxygenated blood from right ventricle of heart to lungs. And in these alveoli, this blood absorbs oxygen and removes carbon dioxide. And then this oxygenated blood is returned back to heart with the help of these blood vessels known as uh, pulmonary veins. Uh, these lines here and here and here are known as septae uh, that are made up of type 1 and type 2 nemocytes. This, this is a type of cell. And these septae are visible here. So these are septae, alveolar septae here, 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 and these lines that are made up of nemocytes uh, type 1 and type 2. This is another sample. And in this sample, you'll see that uh, a big number of alveoli are, are filled with exudates. Exudates, uh, as I said, can be pus, can be blood, can be fibrin. And also, you'll notice that uh, this is a bronchial branch, and uh, there are inflammatory cells around it. Uh, it means that the focus of disease is around uh, this bronchial branch, and the infection is spreading into surrounding alveoli. So these uh, inflammatory cells are neutrophils. Uh, this type of pneumonia is known as uh, bronchopneumonia. There is another type of pneumonia that we want to discuss today. This is a normal chest x-ray and this is uh, a chest x-ray that shows consolidation in right superior lobe. This is horizontal fissure which is uh, visible here this is oblique fissure so the infection is limited to one lobe only and you can also see air bronchogram here uh, which often indicates uh, infection if we were to take a sample uh, from here partially from the infected lobe and partially from the healthy lobe of lung and see it under microscope that uh, sample would look like this so this is fissure and this is uh, areas from healthy lung, the alveoli are filled with air and on the other side of the fissure this is from infected uh, lobe and uh, alveoli here are filled with junk um, exudates, pus, maybe maybe fibrin, maybe blood. This type of pneumonia is known as lobar pneumonia or pneumococcal pneumonia and it shows up like this on x-ray and it can uh, happen in any lobe of lung and uh, this is uh, usually caused by a bacteria known as uh, streptococcus pneumoniae. Now this uh, type of uh, bacteria can be treated with the help of penicillin if not uh, contraindicated and on, on a blood sample you would uh, expect uh, white blood cells, raised number of white blood cells. That is not uh, always the case because there will be cases uh, when infection is actually happening because of shortage of white blood cells. Okay, so I would like to thank Dr. John R. Minasik. The histo slides were copied from his uh, videos on YouTube with kind permission. Thank you very much. And I would also like to thank Dr. Chandra Shaker. The uh, x ray, this one, was copied from his website. And his website is written here. Thank you very much. And these sketches were copied from, and, and also the normal chest x ray was copied from wikipedia.org. And these sketches have been made by Patrick J. Lynch. So thank you very much.